transition night, we do have one paper that needs to be admitted. That was the paper Mr. Agilasto had brought up earlier tonight. I'd ask you to do that, Mr. Clerk, and then we'll go to the introduction of the new papers. Mr. President, item number 11 is on December 2013-12, and that is up for um, amendment and continuance of that paper, and it reads to amend Chapter 102, Article 4, Division 1 of the City Food by adding a new section number 102-246 and to amend the City Code subsection 102-243 concerning parking violations and penalties of non-compliance with certain parking requirements, both for the purpose of requiring that the curbside wheels of vehicles parked on streets parallel to a curb shall not be more than 12 inches from such curb and imposing a fine for the violation of such requirement. I will need to have, oh, I'm sorry, the proposed amendment to that paper is as follows. To amend the ordinance number 2013 12, page 1, line 20, after the period following the word curb, insert the sentence, this section shall not apply for persons parking vehicles or roadsides without curbs. I will need a motion to accept the amendment to that paper and have it continued to Monday, February 25th. Ms. Graziano, will you make the motion? Mm -hmm. Council is voting on Ms. Graziano's motion to accept the amendment to item number 11 as read and have that paper continued until Monday, February 25th. Ms. Graziano? Aye. Ms. Mosby? Aye. Vice President Robinson? Aye. Mr. Hilbert? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. President Samuels. Aye. That motion has been adopted that we will be before you again on Monday, February 25th. Thank you very much, Ms. Clerk. At this point, we would please have introduction to new legislation. Yes, new legislation for this evening is as follows. Ordinance number 2013-20 authorizes the CAO to accept donations of temporary and permanent easements on a portion of 2011 Williamsburg Road at the southwest corner of the intersection of Williamsburg Road and Montpelier Street and Gilly, for, from Gilly Investments LLC for the purpose of the erection and maintenance of a gateway sign as part of the Fulton Area Commercial Corridor Improvement Project. Planning Commission February 19th, Council Public Hearing date February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-21 to authorize the CAO or written designee thereof to execute the necessary documents and take the necessary steps to complete the rails to trails conversion of a portion of railroad property known as the James River Industrial Track and the property known as 3111 Water Street to the city's corporate boundaries for the Virginia Capital Trail Project. Council Planning Use Housing and Transportation Standing Committee meeting February 19th. Council's public hearing date February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-22 to amend the city code subsection 42-41 for the purpose of providing that revenues from sale, lease, or other uses of formal school properties to be set aside for the construction of new public school facilities for the purpose of operations of the school board of the city of Richmond. Council's land use, housing and transportation standing committee February 19th. Council's public hearing date February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-23 to amend ordinance number 2010-173-166, which establishes a GRTC and transit study task force to provide that two city council members shall serve on the task force as its co-chairs. Council's land use, housing and transportation standing committee February 19th. Council's public hearing date February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-24 to authorize the CAO to accept $5,000 from the Virginia Commission for the Arts for, for the purpose of providing a grant to Culture Works. Council's Finance and Economic Development Standing Committee meeting February 21st. Council's Public Hearing date February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-25 to amend Ordinance number 2012-54-69 for the purpose of making a grant to the Richmond Redevelopment Housing Authority to provide community improvement projects in the Reagan Street community. Council's Finance and Economic Development Standing Committee, February 21st. Council's Public Hearing Date, February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-26 
to establish a business professional occupational license tax task force to provide expert advice and recommendations to the council and the mayor concerning the state and local legislation necessary to make the city's businesses professional and occupational tax licenses more competitive with such taxes imposed by other jurisdictions in the Richmond metropolitan area. Council's financing, economic development standing committee, February 21st. Council's public hearing date, February 25th. Order number 2013 27 to authorize the CAO to execute a police mutual aid joint aviation agreement between the county of Henrico, Chesterfield County, and the city of Richmond for the purpose of operating a joint aviation unit to support area law enforcement activities in the party jurisdictions. Council's Finance and Economic Development Standing Committee, February 21st. Council's Public Hearing Date, February 25th. Ordinance number 2013-28 to amend Chapter 26, Article 1 of the City Code by adding a new section, 26-14, for the purpose of authorizing the CAO already designated thereof to enter into and from time to time modify license agreements by which the city licenses to parties other than the city parking spaces within city-owned parking facilities not used for city employee parking pursuant to certain terms and conditions. Council's Governmental Operations Standing Committee, February 28. Council's Public Hearing Date, March 11th. Ordinance number 2013-29 to authorize a special use of 1318 Parkwood Avenue for the purpose of permitting a two-family detached dwelling upon certain terms and conditions. Planning Commission, March 4th. Council's Public Hearing Date, March 11th. Ordinance number 2013-30 to authorize a special use of 1316 Parkwood Avenue for the purpose of permitting a two-family detached dwelling with uncertain terms and conditions. Planning Commission, February, I'm sorry, Planning Commission, March the 4th, Council's Public Hearing Date, March 11th. Ordinance number 2013-31 to name an unnamed alley in the block bound by Floyd Avenue, North Belmont Avenue, Grove Avenue, and North Auburn Avenue that runs along the south and west boundaries of the properties known as 100 North Belmont Avenue, 102 North Belmont Avenue, 104 North Belmont Avenue, and 1307 Floyd Grove Avenue as Bertha's Country Lane. Council's Lane Use Housing and Transportation Standing Committee, February 19th. Council's Public Hearing Date, February 25th. Resolution number 2013-R50 to approve an expenditure of $1,200 from the Council District Funds for the 5th District to make a donation to Scorefront for Community Design to conduct three community workshop sessions for residents and business owners in the Spring Hill community. Council's public hearing date February 25th. Resolution number 2013-R51 to approve an expenditure of $2,500 from the Council District Fund for the 7th District to make a donation to the communities and schools for the expansion of integrated support services for the students at Bellevue Elementary School. Council's public hearing date, February 25th. Resolution number 2013-R52 to approve an expenditure of $300 from the Council District Funds for the 8th District to make a donation to Camp Eva's date with Dad Dinner and Dance on March 17th, 2013. Council's public hearing date, February 25th. Resolution number 2013-R53 to approve an expenditure in the amount of $350 from the Council District Funds for the 7th District to make a donation to Camp Divas, Date with Dad, Dinner, and Dance on March 17, 2013. Council's public hearing date, February 25th. And resolution number 2013-R54 to amend resolution number 2013-R2-2 for the purpose of appointing council members to serve on the GRTC and Transit Study Task Force. Council's Land Use, Housing, and Transportation Standing Committee, February 19th. Council's public hearing date, February 25th. Mr. President, that is all the new legislation that I have to see. Thank you so much. Unless there is any other comment or action needed by this council tonight, this meeting is adjourned.